just left the uh, Highland Beach where I was ground and uh, twice I ground twice and uh, sailing to Pavilion Key now so about two hours of sailing I think Much nicer than yesterday. Yesterday with the uh, going upwind with the with those strong gusts was uh, a little brutal, a little tiring. So I'm glad I took a good break at Highland Beach over there, and uh, gonna do some more relaxing at the VMT, and then I'm gonna head back to Homeport, Sarasota. All right, you're making yourself pretty comfortable now. How about you jump on my hand? There we go. How's that? This is a good spot for you. Okay, put your paw. You want to stay on me? <laughs> okay. Dude. Yeah, it's slippery there. <laughs> Going here, we're going to cabin like the other one. <laughs> uh, just like the other bird on my other video, he went in there. This one is more active though, he's like exploring. Check this out, this is a nice place. Feel free to pick every insect you see. I bet you're comfy up there. <laughs> oh, yeah, cleaning your net, your, your beak. All right, maybe it's time for you to. You're gonna back out if you want to come out. So the little bird just jumped on that red rope, and then just skipped, and then went towards the Everglades. He was flying at like a few inches from each wave, like this, and he just took off. You're a cool dude. Creature up. So I'm stuck on a sandbar in Pavilion Key. It's low tide. The map says there is like four feet, but actually there is less than two. So I did the math right this time. The map is wrong. So I'm gonna have to wait about half an hour to an hour. I set the anchor so I don't drift further into the sandbar because the channel is there. I need to go like a little bit upwind. And you got Pavilion Key right here. Really nice place. I took a bunch of pictures. So I got my high tech device here. Let's see what it says. So I've got the float line right here. Let's see what it says. I'm missing like an inch. I'm gonna be floating very, very, very soon. If I'm not already floating. And got my anchor there. Perfect sailing condition. 10, 12 knots over there, downwind. I'm gonna put this creature probably, full main of course. And I'm hoping we can do like eight knots without working really hard and just let's just let cruise there's no ways it's great right. on my way back to Sarasota home port so I'm crossing the Everglades I don't know how you call this the little basin here 
I'm crossing from Pavilion Key to uh, Marco Island area and uh, it's really nice going a good seven, eight knots and uh, a nice steady wind, one foot waves, all good. here but uh, this is night sailing and uh, I left the Everglades this morning and I'm gonna get to Sarasota the next morning we're just uh, arriving to Captive Island five six knots get my uh, red light switch for inside that's, that's, that's what's happening this is where I sleep over here and got a bit of food food anyway kitchen area and then that's my instrument panel just arriving to Sarasota sunrise 6 30 a.m. So it took 21 hours straight from the Everglades and uh, it was really nice, perfect wind on the beam coming from shore and uh, barely any waves like right now and I slept maybe, uh, I don't know, half an hour through the whole night but I feel pretty good and I'm, I'm glad to be at home port I'm gonna set my anchor in the Sarasota Bay and uh, go home. 